Good evening and welcome to Thursday's programme. First tonight, a man from Leicester has become the first patient in the UK to have a new heart implant fitted. The experimental procedure, which could extend his life, was carried out at the Glenfield Hospital. The 65-year-old had a new nerve-stimulating device fitted to treat his heart failure. Well, for more on this, live now to our health correspondent Rob Sissons, who's at the hospital for us. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, and there is worldwide interest in these developments. There are a million people in the UK alone living with heart failure. For some, tablets make a difference, but for quite a lot of people, they don't. And so a lot of hope is resting on this research, led in the UK by the University of Leicester, and with experts collaborating around the world. A UK first, and this X-ray shows the implant in place close to the heart. The small device it's hoped will make a big difference to the man's heart condition. Tablets haven't worked for him and he's suffered breathlessness. Well, the functionality of it almost is identical to a pacemaker, except that uh, we're not stimulating the heart directly, we're stimulating the nerves that connect to the heart. There are two electrodes from the implant. One goes to the heart measuring the beat, the other goes to a nerve in the neck stimulating it to control the rhythm. The vagus nerve slows down the heart rate and also can protect the heart against uh, a lot of other uh, bad effects. So this stimulator will um, time the heartbeat and then deliver impulses to the nerve which will then um, send signals down to the heart. Where will it all lead? The international heart specialists collaborating hope a widespread treatment for heart failure. The ultimate aim of this treatment is to make the heart pump more efficiently. So with that, we are hope, hoping that with time, then um, the symptoms of breathlessness may decrease and the patients will, will feel better in general. Dr Ung is used to taking a lead. He carried out the world's first heart procedure using a robotic arm. And this latest innovation is unlikely to be his last. It's extremely excited uh, to be the first site in the UK to enrol the patient into the trial. We are the lead centre for uh, this international trial in the UK. Um, we are hoping to enrol more patients and get the data to show that we can benefit more patients with heart failure. Rob, do we know the latest on the patient tonight? Yeah, the patient is uh, in the hospital behind me. They're keeping a close eye on him, but all being well, he should be going home tomorrow. Now, he didn't want to be filmed, but what we know is he's 65, he's from Leicester. He was suffering breathlessness, tablets weren't working. It could be six months, though, before he sees a real improvement if this works. And they are looking for more people in the Leicester and Leicestershire and Rutland area to take part in more of these procedures. But the results, the full results, will take several years. OK, Rob Sissons from the Glenfield Hospital, thanks very much.